The SA80 is a British family of 5.56 times 45 mm NATO small arms, all of which are selective fire, gas operated assault rifles. The L85 rifle variant of the SA80 family has been the standard issue service rifle of the British Armed Forces since 1987, replacing the L1A1 variant of the FN FAL. The first prototypes were created in 1976, with production ending in 1994. The A1 variant was significantly upgraded in the early 2000s by Heckler & Cook as the SA80A2 and remains in service as of 2017. In mid-2016 a prototype A3 variant was showcased which further improved on the weapon and is reportedly being considered to extend the out-of-service date beyond 2025. The remainder of the SA80 family comprises the L86 light support weapon, the short-barreled L22 carbine and the L98 cadet rifle. The SA80 was the last in a long line of British weapons, including the Lee Enfield family, to come from the Royal Small Arms Factory, the National Arms Development and Production Facility at Enfield Lock. History Development The system's history dates back to the late 1940s, when an ambitious program to develop a new cartridge and new class of rifle was launched in the United Kingdom based on combat experience drawn from World War II. Two 7mm prototypes were built in a bullpup configuration, designated the M1 and M2. When NATO adopted the 7.62x51mm NATO rifle cartridge as the standard caliber for its service rifles, further development of these rifles was discontinued, the British Army chose to adopt the 7.62mm L1A1 SLR semi-automatic rifle, which is a license-built version of the Belgian FN FAL. In 1969, the Enfield factory began work on a brand new family of weapons, chambered in a newly designed British 4.85x49mm intermediate cartridge. While the experimental weapon family was very different from the M2 in internal design and construction methods, its bullpup configuration with an optical sight was a clear influence on the design of what was to become the SA80. The system was to be composed of two weapons, the XL64E5 rifle, also called the Enfield Individual Weapon, and a light support weapon known as the XL65E4 light machine gun. The sheet metal construction, and the design of the bolt, bolt carrier, guide rods, gas system and the weapons disassembly showed strong similarities to the Armalite AR-18 which was manufactured under license from 1975 to 1983 by the Stirling Armaments Company of Dagenham, Essex, and which had been tested by the UK MOD in 1966 and 1969. During the development of the SA-80, a bullpup conversion was made of an AR-18 and a Stoner 63 at Enfield due to the fact they could be used with stocks folded slash without stocks which allowed the bullpup conversion and were later chambered in the experimental 4.85x49 mm round. A bullpup conversion of the AR-15 was previously considered but the buffer tube in stock prevented the idea. Technically, in the mid-1970s, the 4.85x49 mm round was seen as superior to the then existing version of 5.56mm M193 round in use by the US, for the M16-M16A1, and by other forces. This was the expressed view of trials team members whilst demonstrating the XL64E5 prototype at the British Army School of Infantry at Warminster. It should be noted that development of small arms munitions have a long and continuous life and it was estimated by the trials specialists from Enfield that this weapon would ultimately be superior in the 4.85mm configuration. For the 4.85mm round, both propellant and projectile were at the beginning of their respective development curves. Also, weight for weight, more rounds of ammunition could be carried by an individual soldier a considerable advantage on the battlefield. It was regarded as probable at the time that the argument for the 5.56mm standard within NATO had more to do with the economics involved. Over the lifetime of a small arms weapon type, far more money is spent on the munitions than the weapons themselves. If the 5.56mm supporters had lost the argument in favor of a British 4.85mm round, the economic impact would have been very large and political pressure undoubtedly played a part in the final decision. In 1976, 
the prototypes were ready to undergo trials. However, after NATO's decision to standardize ammunition among its members, Enfield engineers rechambered the rifles to the American 5.56x45mm NATO M193 cartridge. The newly redesigned 5.56mm version of the XL64E5 became known as the XL70E3. The left-handed XL68 was also rechambered in 5.56x45mm as the XL78. The 5.56mm light support weapon variant, the XL73E3, developed from the XL65E4, was noted for the full-length receiver extension with the bipod under the muzzle now indicative of the type. Further development out of the initial so-called Phase A pre-production series led to the XL85 and XL86. While the XL85E1 and XL86E1 were ultimately adopted as the L85 and L86 respectively, a number of additional test models were produced. The XL85E2 and XL86E2 were designed to an alternate build standard with 12 components different from E1 variants, including parts of the gas system, bolt, and magazine catch. Three series of variants were created for environmental user trials. XL85E3 and XL86E3 variants were developed with 24 modified parts, most notably a plastic safety plunger. The E4S had 21 modified parts, no modification to the pistol grip, and an aluminium safety plunger, unlike the E3 variants. Lastly, the E5 variants had 9 modified parts in addition to those from the E3-E4 variants. SA80 development was complicated from the start. One complication was at least three project staffing changes at the Royal Small Arms Factory, which resulted in repetition of testing several times. One problem with the design of the gun itself was that the cases would be ejected at constantly varying angles as it heated up and the rate of fire changed, resulting in a large ejection port. The conversion from 4.85mm to 5.56mm also caused a complication, as the rate of fire dropped dramatically as the gas port was left in the same position, but the pressure and time curve of the rounds were different. The 4.85mm round was based on the 5.56mm case in anticipation of the need to convert calibers. The barrel was changed easily, but the gas ports had to be enlarged considerably. This was made worse by the production of ammunition with power that gave a lower port pressure and rate of fire. Pressure problems had less of an effect on the LSW due to its longer barrel. Production After receiving feedback from users and incorporating the various design changes requested, including adapting the rifle for use with the heavier Belgian SS109 version of the 5.56x45mm round and improving reliability, the weapon system was accepted into service with the British Armed Forces in 1985 as the SA-80. The SA-80 family originally consisted of the L-85A1 IW, individual weapon, and the L-86A1 LSW, light support weapon. The first rifle was issued on October 2, 1985 to Sergeant Gary Gavin, a 26-year-old in the Worcestershire and Sherwood Foresters. The SA-80 family was designed and produced, until 1998, by the Royal Small Arms Factory at Enfield Lock. In 1998, production of the rifle was transferred to the Royal Ordnance's Nottingham Small Arms Facility, later British Aerospace, Royal Ordnance, now B Systems Land and Armaments. In 1994, production was officially completed. More than 350,000 L85A1 rifles and L86A1 light machine guns had been manufactured for the United Kingdom. As responsibility for the funding and supply of the home defence regiments of the British Overseas Territories, which are only loosely integrated within the British Army, has been handed to the local governments of the territories, although the regiments themselves come under command of the national, British, government, the SA-80 was not automatically supplied to these units. The Falkland Islands Defence Force instead adopted the Stairog while the Bermuda Regiment, since 2015 the Royal Bermuda Regiment, adopted the Ruger Mini-14 in 1983, 
although it has held small stocks of the L85A1 and L85A2 since the 1980s for the purpose of familiarization training as many of its personnel attend courses or attachments in Britain. The Royal Gibraltar Regiment, which is more closely integrated into British Army, adopted the SA80. In 2015, the Royal Bermuda Regiment replaced the Mini-14 with the L85A2. The L85 is also in use with the Jamaica Defence Force. Design Details Operating Mechanism With the exception of the L98A1, the SA80 system is a selective fire gas-operated design that uses ignited powder gases bled through a port in the barrel to provide the weapon's automation. The rifle uses a short-stroke gas piston system located above the barrel, which is fed gas through a three-position adjustable gas regulator. The first gas setting is used for normal operation, the second is for use in difficult environmental conditions, while the third setting prevents any gas from reaching the piston and is used to launch rifle grenades. The weapon uses a rotating cylindrical bolt that contains seven radially mounted locking splines, an extractor, and casing ejector. The bolt's rotation is controlled by a chem stud that slides inside a helical camming guide machined into the bolt carrier. Features The family is built in a bullpup layout, the action is behind the trigger group, with a forward-mounted pistol grip. The main advantage of this type of arrangement is the overall compactness of the weapon, which can be achieved without compromising the barrel length, hence the overall length of the L85 rifle is shorter than a carbine but the barrel length is that of an assault rifle. However, the adoption of this layout also means that the rifle must be used exclusively right-handed since the ejection port and cocking handle, which reciprocates during firing, are on the right side of the receiver, making aimed fire from the left shoulder difficult. This can also give rise to a tactical disadvantage when firing around the left side of cover, where the shooter must expose the majority of his body. However left shoulder firing can be achieved by tilting the right hand side of the rifle downwards, reducing the impediments of the cocking handle and the ejection port. The SA80 family is hammer fired and has a trigger mechanism with a fire control selector that enables semi-automatic fire and fully automatic fire, the fire selector lever is located at the left side of the receiver, just aft of the magazine. A cross bolt type safety prevents accidental firing and is located above the trigger, the safe setting blocks the movement of the trigger. The L85 rifle features a barrel with a slotted flash suppressor, which also serves as a mounting base for attaching and launching RGGS rifle grenades, attaching a blank firing adapter or a bayonet. The weapons are fed from a Stanag magazine, usually with a 30-round capacity. The magazine release button is placed above the magazine housing, on the left side of the receiver. When the last cartridge is fired from the magazine, the bolt and bolt carrier assembly lock to the rear. The weapon's receiver is made from stamped sheet steel, reinforced with welded and riveted machine steel inserts. Synthetics were also used, i.e. the handguards, pistol grip, butt pad, and cheek rest were all fabricated from nylon. A Picatinny railed handguard was also developed for the type. Sights Rifles used by the Royal Marines British Army infantry soldiers, and other soldiers with a dismounted close combat role, and the RAF regiment are equipped with a SUSAT, sight unit small arms, trilux, optical sight, with a fixed 4 times magnification and an illuminated aiming pointer powered by a variable tritium light source, as of 2006 almost all British Army personnel deployed on operations have been issued SUSATs. Mounted on the SUSATs one piece, Pressure die cast aluminium body are a set of backup iron sights that consist of a front blade and small rear aperture. Rifles used with other branches of the armed forces when not on operations are configured with fixed iron sights, consisting of a flip rear aperture housed inside the carrying handle and a forward post vertical blade foresight, installed on a bracket above the gas block. The rear sight can be adjusted for windage, and the foresight elevation. In place of the SUSAT, a passive night vision CWS scope can be used, and also independent of the SUSAT a laser pointer. Weapons used by some Royal Marines, Infantry, RAF Regiment, 
Ministry of Defense Police and other soldiers with a dismounted close combat role in operations in Afghanistan have had the Suzat replaced with the Trijicon Advanced Combat Optical Gun Sight, ACOG. In 2011, the Ministry of Defense began issuing Elk Inspect Eros 4 times Lightweight Day Sights, LDS, in an effort to replace aging Suzat units across the British Armed Forces, forming the first stage of the Fist Infantry Enhancement Project. In order to mount the new site, the weapon has been provided with an adapter to convert the existing site rail to the Picatinny standard, in keeping with the updated handguard. The FIST project has also seen upgrades to the existing Kyoptique CWS, 4 times, and Maxi Kite, 6 times, night vision scopes, and the introduction of the FIST thermal site, following operational experience with the Viper 2 Plus thermal weapon site in Afghanistan. All of the new FIST weapon sites have the capacity to accept SHIELD's Close Quarter Battle Sight Reflex Sight. Accessories Bayonet attached to an L85A2 rifle. Note the barrel to the left. The L85 is supplied with a sling, blank firing adapter, cleaning kit and a blade type bayonet, which coupled with the sheath can double as a wire cutter, the sheath contains a small saw and sharpening stone. The rifle can be adapted to use .22 long rifle training ammunition with a special conversion kit. The small arms weapons effects simulator can be used on the L85 when in training with blank ammunition. The rifle variant also accommodates a 40mm underbarrel grenade launcher such as Heckler & Cook AG36 40mm grenade launcher variants. Variants There are four main variants that make up the SA80 family the L85IW rifle, the L86 light support weapon, the L22 carbine and the L98 cadet rifle. The family has currently consists of two major models, A1 variants being the first issue weapons, and A2 distinguishing weapons which have undergone H and K upgrades. The L and A in the weapon title mean number and mark i.e. number 85 mark 1 equals L85A1. L85 rifle The L85IW Individual weapon, formally, rifle, 5.56 mm, L85A2, is the standard rifle for the British Armed Forces. On operations with ground close combat units, infantry, Royal Marines, RAF Regiment, the rifle is often fitted with an LLM01 laser light module. The L85A2 can also mount the L123A2 UGL 40 mm under barrel grenade launcher. British variant of the HNK AG36. The addition of the underbarrel grenade launcher adds another 3.30 pounds, 1.49 kilograms, to the L85A2S weight. Magazines issued with the L85A1 were aluminium, and not very robust. There are now three types of magazine issued with the L85A2, the most recent being the plastic Magpul EMAG purchased as an urgent operational requirement, UOR. The other two are of steel construction with a stainless steel follower. The main variant is for live ammunition, and the other is exclusively used for blank ammunition. The blank variant is identified by yellow stripes on the magazine, and is designed to prevent the loading of live rounds. As blank rounds are shorter than live rounds, live rounds will not physically fit into the blank magazine. Blank rounds will fit into the normal magazine but their slightly shorter length creates problems with jamming. From 2007, an upgrade including the provision of ACOGs, a new handguard incorporating Picatinny rails, with optional hand grip slash bipod, and a new vortex style flash eliminator is being introduced for use by selected units. L86 LSW The L86A1 LSW, light support weapon, is a magazine-fed squad automatic weapon originally intended to provide fire support at a fire team level. Its barrel is longer than the L85A1 and has a shorter handguard with a support stock with lightning holes protruding from the front holding a bipod. The stock has a shoulder strap and rear vertical grip. The weapon is otherwise identical to the L85 version on which it is based, and the same 30-round magazines and sighting systems are used. Like the L85 rifle, it has a selector on the left side behind the magazine housing, enabling either single shots or automatic fire. The bolt and trigger system are modified, so the gun can be fired from open bolt. 
The increased barrel length, bipod, and the optical performance of the Suzat give the weapon excellent accuracy, increased muzzle velocity and further stabilizes the bullet, giving a greater effective range. From its inception, the L86 was a target of criticism on much the same basis as the L85. The LSW has the additional issue, shared by any light support weapon derived from a rifle, for example the heavy barrel FN FAL, of its inability to deliver sustained automatic fire as it lacks a quick change barrel, and belt feed. For a time, the primary use of the LSW shifted to that of a marksman's weapon within many infantry sections, capable of providing precision fire at ranges of over 600 m, however, it was replaced in this role by the rifle, 7.62 mm L129A1. The role of a light support weapon is instead filled by the L110A2 light machine gun FN Minimi, which is a belt-fed weapon with a quick-change barrel. The L86A1 was upgraded to the L86A2 at the same time as L85A1 rifles were upgraded to L85A2 standards, undergoing the same set of modifications. L22 Carbine There have been three attempts at a carbine version of the L85. The first was in 1989. Length overall 556 mm, barrel length 289 mm. The second attempt, which was in 1994, used the standard L86 LSW handguard and a 17.4 inch barrel, length overall 709 mm, barrel length 442 mm. The third attempt, 2003 2004, is also the only one to officially be adopted the L22. This resembles the 1989 model but has all the necessary A2 upgrades, and has a 318mm, 12.5 in, barrel and an overall length of 585mm around 1500 were manufactured from surplus L86 LSWs, more were built with the increased demand. Due to the shortened barrel, 12.5 in, it is less accurate and less powerful, especially at long ranges. Because there is no handguard, these guns are outfitted with a vertical front grip. It exists only in A2 variants as they were made to A2 standard. Initially issued to tank and armored vehicle crews for emergency action out of vehicle, the L22 has been seen in the hands of the Royal Marines Fleet Protection Group and pilots of all three services due to its compact size. L98 Cadet General Purpose Rifle The L98A1 Cadet GP rifle was a general purpose. GP, rifle used by the Combined Cadet Force and C, Royal Marine, Army Cadet Force and Air Cadets in the United Kingdom. It was introduced in 1987 to replace the .303 Lee Enfield No. 4 rifles and .303 Bren guns used for weapons training. The L98A1 rifle began a phased decommission in early 2009 and is now no longer in use. UK cadet forces have now received the updated L98A2 rifles. The L98A1 was similar to the L85A1, but lacked the gas components. It was a manually operated, single-shot rifle, with a cocking handle extension piece mounted on the right side of the weapon, and was cocked with the right hand. It was also fitted with adjustable iron sights. The L98A2 has the same gas parts and cocking handle of the L85A2, but lacks the selective fire switch. This means the L98A2 can only be operated in the semi-automatic mode. Deployment The SA-80 has been used in all conflicts in which the British Armed Forces have been involved since its introduction in the early 1980s. Deployments include Northern Ireland, the First Gulf War, Bosnia, Kosovo, Sierra Leone, Afghanistan, and Iraq. When the British went into battle with fixed bayonets on the SA-80 in Iraq, it was the first time fixed bayonets had been used by British troops since the Falklands War. On several occasions, fixed bayonets have been used during the Afghanistan conflict also. Service and Modification Soon after being adopted for service, problems began to surface. The first five years of this rifle's service have been disastrous. A number of manufacturing defects showed up in service conditions, and it was not until the closure of the RSAF at Enfield and the setting up of an entirely new production line, with new computer-controlled machine tools, at the new RSAF Nottingham, 
that the quality of the production weapons began to improve. It will take some time for the poor reputation gained by the initial issue weapons to be overcome, the only consolation is that the same sort of thing has happened to other military rifles in the past, and they have managed to live down their early reputation and prove their innate reliability. It is to be hoped that the L85A1 will do so as well. Ian V. Hogg, 1990 when the L-85A1 and L-86A1 were first sent into major combat during the Gulf War, individual performance was appalling. The L-85A1 proved unreliable in semi-auto mode, and slightly better in full auto, while the L-86A1 performed the opposite. Specific complaints included, the poor quality plastic furniture fell apart and the gun was damaged easily, the magazine release catch was easily knocked accidentally and dropped the magazine, the catch on the top cover over the gas mechanism was too weak and constantly popped open, so it had to be taped down, only 26-28 rounds could be loaded in a magazine because the springs were weak, and it also had to be kept very clean and the lips checked for dents, the LSW had a small magazine capacity. For its role and overheated after 121-50 rounds fired in bursts, the weapons were difficult to strip and reassemble with the gas plug easily jamming in place and requiring an armorer to remove, and ergonomic issues related to the safety catch, cocking lever, and the location and stiffness of the fire selector switch. The SA-80 initially gained a poor reputation amongst British soldiers as being unreliable and fragile, a fact picked up by the UK media, entertainment industry and members of the House of Lords. The writer and former soldier Andy McNabb said in his book Bravo 20 that the British Army procured a Rolls Royce in the SA-80, albeit a prototype Rolls Royce. Immediately after the first Gulf War, Operation Granby, the UK Ministry of Defence, MOD, commissioned the Landsat Report, officially entitled Equipment Performance, SA-80, during Operation Granby, the Gulf War into the effectiveness of the L85A1 IW and L86A1 LSW. This report criticized the acceptance of the weapon into service. Neither weapon had managed to pass the sand trials and both frequently jammed. The mechanism of both weapons needed to be well lubricated as the weapon became prone to seizure if fired dry, yet in sandy condition the lubricated weapon became unreliable due to the lubricant attracting sand into the moving parts. The Landsat report identified in excess of 50 faults, most notably the magazine release catch, which could easily be caught on clothing and therefore accidentally release the magazine, the plastic safety plunger which became brittle in cold climates, and firing pins that were not up to repeated use, and prone to fracture if used in automatic fire mode. Although this report identified over 50 faults, and some of the rifle's problems were corrected as a result, e.g. the magazine release guard and trigger, these modifications addressed only seven of these issues and complaints over reliability in service continued. The Ministry of Defense applied various minor fixes to problems in the guns or simply denied that a problem existed. The MOD finally began to address issues with the SA-80 family in 1992 but procuring entirely new weapons was considered too expensive. As a result, a more extensive modification program was executed. In 2000, Heckler and Cook, at that time owned by the British defence conglomerate B Systems, was contracted to upgrade the SA-80 family of weapons. 200,000 SA-80s were remanufactured at a cost of £400 each, producing the A2 variant. Changes focused primarily on improving reliability and include, a redesigned cocking handle, modified bolt, extractor and a redesigned hammer assembly that produces a slight delay in the hammer's operation in continuous fire mode, improving reliability and stability. There were equivalent LSW and carbine modifications. The British Ministry of Defence describes the L85A2 revision as modified in light of operational experience, the most reliable weapons of their type in the world. Armed Forces trials indicated extremely good reliability over a range of climates for various operational scenarios, though with a decline in reliability in hot, and especially hot and dry conditions. The L85A2 has achieved an average reliability rate of 25,200 mean rounds between failure, and the L86A2 achieved 12,897 mean rounds between failures. 
Both weapons have higher reliability rates in cold-slash-dry, temperate, and hot-slash-wet conditions, over 31,500 mrbf for L85A2, but lower rates in hot-slash-dry environments. The minimum expected life of A2 components is 10,000 rounds, meaning they may never suffer stoppages during their lifetimes. The L85A1 was required to be able to fire 120 rounds over 24 hours, and the L86A1 was required to fire 800 rounds in 24 hours. The L85A2 is required to fire 150 rounds in 8 minutes 40 seconds, and the L86A2 is required to fire 960 rounds in 36 minutes. The first A2-style SA-80 weapons were rushed into action in Afghanistan in December 2001, and all 200,000 were converted by February 2006. Three to 4,000 weapons were converted per month. Despite the modifications, reports started to emerge that the L85A2 was still jamming. In reality, there were few jams and problems that were much less serious than they were made out to be stemming from isolated cases of soldiers not cleaning their weapons correctly. The modified A2 variants are distinguished by the HKA2 marking on the top of the weapon just forward of the butt plate and the distinctive comma-shaped cocking handle, shaped to aid the ejection of the empty round casing and prevent stoppages. A forward Picatinny accessories rail supplied by Daniel Defense was incorporated from 2008. The Magpul Industries Polymer EMAG magazine was introduced from 2011 to replace the Heckler & Cook Steel Stanag 4179 magazine. Continued testing of the L85A2 in adverse conditions demonstrates its reliability over contemporary rifles, including the M16. Although it is heavier than most conventional and more modern bullpup rifles, its full-length barrel gives higher muzzle velocities and better terminal performance than both the M4 and the M16. Rounds from an M4 will only reliably fragment out to 5100 meters, while the L85A2 and M16 allowed fragmentation out to 15200 meters and the L86A2 has an even longer fragmentation range. Despite these modifications, the L86A2 did not overcome efforts to replace it with a belt-fed machine gun. British troops were issued with L110A1 machine guns to add suppressive fire out to 300 meters, despite these officially being supplementary weapons, they all but replaced the L86. The 7.62mm L129 was issued to provide increased terminal effect at long range, to compensate for the limitations of both L85 and L86 weapons. Conflicts The SA80 has been used in the following conflicts. The Troubles Operation Granby Gulf War Bosnian War Kosovo War Sierra Leone Civil War Operation Veritas Afghanistan War Operation Telic Iraq War Users Bolivia, used by Special Forces and the Bolivian National Police Jamaica, used since 1992 Mozambique sold as part of British military aid. Nepal, sold as part of British military aid. Papua New Guinea. Sierra Leone, sold as part of British military aid. United Kingdom. Standard issue, British Armed Forces. Bermuda, British Overseas Territory 400 L85A2 rifles donated by the MOD to the Royal Bermuda Regiment in August 2015. Gibraltar. British Overseas Territory Standard Issue to the Royal Gibraltar Regiment Zimbabwe, sold as part of British military aid SA-80 Type Assault Rifle Light Support Weapon Place of Origin United Kingdom Service History In Service 1985 Present Used by Sea Users War Sea Conflicts Production History Designed 1970s 1980s. Manufacturer Royal Small Arms Factory, Ferranti. Produced 1985 1994. No built approximate 350,000. Variants L85A1 rifle. L85A2 rifle. L86A1 light support weapon. L86A2 light support weapon. L22A2 carbine. 
L98A1 Cadet Rifle L98A2 Cadet Rifle Specifications Weight 3.82 kg, 8.4 pounds, L85A2 Empty 4.98 kg, 11.0 pounds, L85A2 with Suzat sight and loaded 30 round magazine 6.58 kg, 14.5 pounds, L86A2 LSW 4.42 kg, 9.7 pounds, L22A1. Length 785 mm, 30.9 in, L85A2 and L98A2. 900 mm, 35.4 in, L86A2 LSW. 709 mm, 27.9 in, L22A1. Barrel length 518 mm, 20.4 in, L85A2 and L98A2. 646 mm, 25.4 in, L86A2 LSW. 442 mm, 17.4 in, L22A1. Cartridge 5.56 x 45 mm NATO. Action gas operated, rotating bolt. Rate of fire 610 to 775 rpm. Muzzle velocity 940 m s, 3084 feet s, L85A2 and L98A2. 970 m s, 3182.4 feet s, L86A2 LSW. Effective firing range 300 m effective range used by one soldier. Effective at 600 m as a section using the LDS, lightweight day sight. Maximum firing range 1000 m, L86A2. Feed system 30 round detachable Stanag magazine. 30 round detachable polymer Magpul EMAG. Sights telescopic Suzat, ACOG, and Elkin LDS scopes, aperture iron sights. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.